Welcome to another 600 second episode podcast. This conversation is with my man, uh, Josh Hart from the LA Lakers, number three. Thank you for the jersey. I'm going to ask you a series of questions. You don't have to rush them. We're going to get started right now. What is the first application that you open when you uh, when you wake up? First app. Um, text. No, text? Uh, yeah, text. No, Instagram. Instagram? Instagram. Yep. Instagram's your thing? Yeah, my, mine's, uh, mine's Twitter. It's, uh, it's the one that I go to. Instagram's my second close, though. I feel like big, like ga- like in the gaming world, the gamers, like, it's more Twitter. It's yeah, more Twitter it is more Twitter. For athletes and everything else that's cool is Instagram. Instagram, 100%. Yeah. <laughs> uh, what is your favorite <coughs> moment of your career? Winning the national championship in, in college. That was that What was, year was that? Um, 2016. So that was the biggest one. Uh, it was crazy, especially how we won it. You know, just like the Marcus Page hit a crazy shot to tie it. And then we hit a buzzer beater, probably the most, um, probably the clutchest shot. You know, in basketball history, I think obviously I'm a little biased, but yeah. we won on a buzzer beater like that, and it was just. Have you ever crazy. hit a buzzer beater? Um, winning a winning buzzer beater? Uh, I feel like I, I don't know. I think I have. I could have had a winning buzzer beater my rookie year. Missed the shit out of a layup. Yeah, was, no, yeah, against not San a layup, Antonio, bro. No. I was actually, it wasn't, it wasn't terrible because we went into overtime and I was able to get my double double. So yeah. not totally mad about it, but yeah, I yeah, definitely yeah. would have liked to made that layup. So, in, in, if you think about it in retrospect, you you actually missed it on purpose so you can get the double double. Exactly. You sacrificed. Did you guys end up winning? <laughs> we did one. Okay, <laughs> so yeah, we were good. If we lost, it would have <laughs> been like, oh You're man. You're like, no, I think today's gonna be the double double. <laughs> you threw that, man. Like, uh, uh, it's it's uh, it's crazy. So, uh, do you have a celebrity crush? Um, Wait now, before I've, I never <coughs> ask anyone like a, 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 a super famous mm. person this because it's attainable yeah, for an yeah, athlete I know, to I know. get My anything. My girlfriend's either. probably gonna be like, "Oh, that really." So growing up, it was always making good. Yeah, um, Margot Robbie was probably it's probably been my celebrity crush. Yeah, lately. Margot. Yeah, yeah she's, man, uh, she's she's a bombshell. Yeah, she's and amazing. she's a good actor and she's hilarious. Yeah, what is and there my not to like? Shannon, don't worry, she's married. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Don't so. worry. This is lighthearted. We lighthearted. Aha, yeah. See, yes. see that plug? So don't take I I, <laughs> I I always answer the same thing just so my wife doesn't, you know. Yeah, pretty Margo, I do love you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. What is the dumbest thing you've ever spent your money on? Uh, I took a private jet to the national championship when Villanova played in Michigan uh, two years ago. Yeah? Yeah, I took a private. So what really messed it up is we played. Was it wheels up or? Just a regular nah, charter. Just just a regular charter. Yeah. Uh, so what really messed it up is we played the Kings the day before. Mm-hmm. And if we won, we would have just had met at the plane. But we lost. So we had to do like some stuff early in the morning. So they were going to let me fly. So I, I could have just flew commercial if we won. I could have like got a nine o'clock flight, got down to San Antonio, yeah. you know, in the early afternoon. But we lost, so I couldn't catch that commercial flight, and I had to like I had to go. To, those are my guys, I, yeah. and that group that I went to college with that bonds with. So I was like, you know what, I gotta, yeah, I gotta go down there. So, so you went from where to where? Well, from L.A. to San Antonio. Okay, and how much is is that? If you don't mind me asking, um, it was around twenty twenty k. Yeah, yeah, twenty. Uh, yeah. That's uh that's crazy. Most people will say bottle service because that like I don't even think that you're like like a, like flying private because that's comfort and stuff. Uh-huh. Like I, I'd be more willing to spend twenty on a on a flight than twenty at the at the table. I don't I don't really like I don't really go out go out like that. And if I do, um, my, and I and if we do get table, I'm usually with other people, so we split it mm-hmm. and just just to have it even. Um, so I haven't had any like wild, um, crazy like crazy night. I think like. The most expensive time, one time we went to live last, not this year, but the last year of a Rolling Loud weekend. We were then live on a Sunday, and it was I think like we we ended up spending like eight or nine uh, k, but we split it a couple ways, so yeah. it, was, it wasn't bad at okay. all. Um, growing up, who was your favorite basketball player? Um, D Wade. Yeah, D Wade, and uh, the second was Ray John Rondo. Okay. That's those are good good picks. It was cool, and then yeah, and then being able to play with uh, Doe this past year in LA, it was it was really it was really yeah. kind of cool. I don't I never I don't I don't think I ever told him that he was my second favorite player growing yeah. up because I, I loved watching because he was a pass first point guard, did everything, wanted to win, but he was he was competitive, but he was also a little bit of an asshole, and yeah, I lo- and I loved it, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I don't think I ever told him that, but because uh, I mean I don't want to be like a fanboy. Yeah, that was, that was my that was my two t- my top two guys gr- uh, growing up. Hell yeah, that's dope. Uh, if uh, if you okay, so I'm gonna ask you two questions about teammates. Mm-hmm. Who is, and obviously all of them are your favorite teammates, mm-hmm. but who's the one that just like wins by like one percent? Who's your favorite teammate of all time? Um, of all time. Yeah, it could be college, could be high school, uh, could be anything. Oh, shit, man, damn. <laughs> I, hope, I hope my guys don't watch this. Uh, let me think. 
Ah, oh, fuck. And then after that, I'm going to ask you if you could play with anybody before your your career is over and you want to be teammates with somebody you know you get a chance to play with so if we say first, first answer teammate, the first one yeah. um by one percent because they're all your favorites yeah uh shit. i'll probably say either fuck man you put me on the spot I damn did. but again they're all your favorites it's just yeah. by one percent um for whatever I love, reason i loved playing with ryan arthur diakono uh-huh. he, like me and him are, are, are close he wasn't my closest you know, uh, a friend in college. Um, but I loved playing with him just because he was this type of dude that just did all the dirty work, did whatever uh, he needed to do. Was still just had that killer mentality. Um, I loved playing with him. So I, I guess I'll say that one. And, um, and then I got love now, for you, Archie. And, and then, then now for, <coughs> by, the, by the time your your time is done on this earth, who would you have said, oh, I'm um, glad I played with this dude? I, I wish, I wanted it to be D-Wade, but that, that didn't work out. So, um... I don't know, probably KD. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. KD yeah, he's, to LA. He's man. He's uh, he's one of my favorites for sure. Hey, hey Kev, we gonna talk about that one, my brother. <laughs> oh yeah. Come on, come on, come on down to showtime. You know he's leave. I mean, I don't know if you know, but yeah, that's you know, why. Yeah, he's a free agent. You know, <laughs> purple and gold looks good on him. I, I mean, so. late, I mean, again, LA's. Uh, I I would never live there. Could never live there. But you know, LA's LA's dope, man. Yeah, to man. visit. Yeah, it's all good. <laughs> hey, when, hey, wait, when you get when you get paid as much as he did, yeah, and we, and we uh, win it, hey, man, LA might be a lovely place to be. Same, same. Same. <laughs> throw that out there. Uh, okay, so uh, if you could, I don't want to ask this question yet. So, what is the what is the dumbest thing you've ever done for love? Um, I've done a lot of dumb shit for love. Um, <laughs> to give you an example, I I walked once from school. I walked like three miles to buy, go buy a balloon in high school, a heart balloon during a wow the hell so, well, we got a nice little alarm there um i just damn, i'm gonna say this story it's gonna sound i'm gonna sound like a fucking stalker no, oh my do god it. it's gonna, do it. so like it. just don't say her um, name because then she might come after you no nah, no nah, it's my it's my girl you know, oh, I, okay. t- uh, I told her my it was our freshman year in college and i told her i was like i'll go to your first she she was hurt um her freshman year so like there's like she played ball play, too? yeah she plays soccer oh so it's like they play like spring ball or whatever so i was like and I, was pro- I promised her before, I was like, yeah, I'll, I'll come to your your first game or whatever. So we actually weren't dating at the time. We were on a break. And so I took like three trains, no. went and like watched the game. But like I, I watched the game like in the cut. Like I was like, no one really saw me. I was like in the cut. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I like went, I went and watched the game. I told her I was going to watch the game. And uh she asked if I was there. I like I I, said, I was like I oh, was there. I sent her a picture like so like I was I was watching it. But now like looking and like the picture I sent her like it was like and I I couldn't go on the field so it was like through a fence so the yeah. shit looked real stalker yeah, ass. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so I probably would say that like it took me like a long ass fucking time to get there. Trains were delayed and then I didn't even I didn't even see her after. I just went I just went right back to my school. I was probably like the like the dumbest shit I did. Yeah, it probably some, some people, a little stalker ass. Nah, too, some, some people are gonna say that was, that's uh, that's cute and all. More, most men yeah, should be I, like. I, it. I hope man look. At, I hope people look at like yeah, that's cute instead of damn, he's creepy. Yeah, I I wouldn't do. That. <laughs> uh, no, I'm kidding. Uh, all right, last uh, last question I think before we yeah we got, we still got a little bit of time. So uh, I started asking this question just recently. If you can turn any animal in the animal kingdom into your pet, so the size of this screen that you see here, I think it's a 13 inch thing. So picture. A chihuahua. If you mm-hmm. can turn any animal into the in, into a chihu- uh, chihuahua-sized animal from the animal kingdom, what would it be? I probably would say either a, a tiger or honestly an alpaca. An alpaca. What only that? only what are those alpacas? It's like a it's like a llama, but it spits. Oh, they spit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Only be the, the crazy haired ones, yeah, right? Because them just have so much fucking attitude and yeah, sass. Like they, sassy, yeah, just, just like just like. You know how ballerific it would be? Like I'm sitting here, I'm doing the lighthearted podcast, and I got this little sassy ass alpaca yeah. just walk by. Just looking like, at me, just like yeah, just with an attitude or some shit. It's like, got a just, French accent. And yeah, just like, get just, away from me, whoops. Yeah, just look at me like, like yeah, I'm on you. Like yeah, I'm in the podcast. <laughs> Do something, bitch. Like something like something like yeah, that. You yeah, know, yeah. you know, if it spit on me, I might have to whoop his ass. But I yeah. mean, no, well, um, no, it's yours. It'll be spit yeah, on your guests. Yeah, and, but uh, uh, <laughs> I don't know. I think that could be kind of ballerific. Yeah, dude. I I saw uh, the question came from an from a from an ad that I saw on TV. I think it was T-Mobile or something. But the this rich, uh, this super billionaire Russian dude had a had a had a giraffe, and I was like, oh, that's just so. I was thinking about that. That's kind of yeah. fire. Just 
Yeah, just sitting there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, thank you for stopping by. We'll see you guys on the next one. Goodbye.